Hey you guys, so well back and guess what? We are doing another review and before we get into our review, I wanna go ahead and call out one of our fans from Instagram, Saunders09, Saunders that is. Nine. Yes. Saunders09. Love me some Saunders09. So, we are going to be looking at Babe Rosé with Bubbles! <laughs> Can we drink it too, or can Absolutely. we only look at it? Someone had to create a sparkling rosé that was delicious, and most of all, so us. You're welcome. Love you, miss you, hate you, love you, mean it! And it has a rose in the back. Oh, it's for so rosé! Who's the, who's the, it's so us? Who's the us? Well, this, I've seen this advertised, uh, I think I saw it in LA once. There's a billboard that says, babe, rosé, uh, gay beer. It's referred to as gay beer. It's, They're a marketing campaign. It's so oh, beer. but look, look. So it's a California rosé, sparkling wine, vented by Yas Queen, yes. Parlor, California. Bottled by Yas Queen, Cold Spring, Minnesota. Ah. Yeah. Just like any queen, this Wait. shit's been everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> You did not make that up. It I actually did not says make that. that up. It actually says that. I thought you were just fucking with us. Swishbev.com. I, I can't it. wait to drink this shit. I hope we like Pack it. Pack it open. Come on. Let's do it. Got it. I like the I like the can. I like how it is. I like the yeah, it's simple bold, yet simple, bold. yet it has a statement. Yeah. I right. really, I, I appreciate how it's all blue and white, except for the rose yeah. on the back. Yeah. Did you notice the rose has an accent? Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, oh. rose. Oh. Hey. This is smart design. Great. All right, so, all right cheers, y'all. Cheers. 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 I like it. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 Yes, gay beer. Yes. Okay. Well, snap, that's good. Yeah. That is good. You know, it's the it's <laughs> it's not too sweet. It's not too dry. It's light, refreshing, yet still bold enough to feel like I'm drinking. Yeah. There is an after when I exhale after drinking it. There's an aftertaste that's a little like malt liquor. It's a little. Uh, it might be a product of being in a can. Okay. So I'll give it that. But so this one has 12% alcohol, by the way. That's good for gay beer, because we like to get sloshed at Sunday brunch. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, a good 13, 12, 13% is where we like to. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, <laughs> careful. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a gay beer, because we can handle our alcohol. I'm just saying. Amen. Well, some of us can. So, how about we do a little uh, review here? How, uh, Alan, what do you think, babe? Do you like it? Thumb? Oh my gosh, Jonathan, there you go. Thumbs up, Dan. <gasps> you know what? I'm gonna have to go for that fourth thumbs up. Yeah. So it's approved. You nanny. And I will say, I gotta say, this is not pandering. Just because it says yes and queen and gay beer all over it does not mean that we're we're weighing that into our opinion here. This is legitimately fun to drink. Yeah, no, it's, it's good. good. And pleasing to a, a broad spectrum of palates because we've established, well established here that we like sweet and non-sweet and this is this is a good crowd pleaser. Absolutely. I will say the marketing is what helped make the decision to pick this up and try this. So bravo on all of Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So please make sure you subscribe to the Boys Who Booze. Make sure you like our episodes and make sure you hit that little bell on the side so you can get notifications. Whenever we post new, amazing, fun videos from the boys who booze. Love you. Mean it. Yes.